Synchronicity University has an incredible jam-packed March season coming up. And for a very limited time, you can choose your tuition rate, five-week courses with me. I'm finally back after two years away. And Zamboni Funk and Celeste Brooks, you add to this an incredible speaker series, which includes superstar astrologer Maurice Fernandez. Well, you can see here that there's so much to look forward to and even more. Choose your tuition rate on now at synchronicityuniversity.com. Links are in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2024. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. Boy, is this a very special time. This month's new moon takes place on the 9th of the month. And this is going to represent an important turning point for you in the context of your alliances with other people. Friendships and professional group dynamics are covered here. This is a part of the sky that also speaks to really big opportunities and aligning with your higher hopes and wishes for your life. So the new moon itself is a surprise a minute, if not a shock a minute. I look at this and I think something's got to give, something's got to change in some key alliances that you have with other people. Now, new moons tend to bring with them new opportunities. That could be new projects, that could be new people as well. But here's the thing, it may be that the new is kind of out of necessity, you're feeling as if you need to start fresh in some way, welcome in new people as well. There's another factor to take into consideration in this same part of the sky. We are going to have a party going on. We're going to have planets moving through here, moving into here one by one, and very quickly moving to meet Pluto in the sky. So on the 5th, Mercury moves in here, immediately meets Pluto, it is on the 13th that we get your ruling planet Mars. That's going to be incredibly important for you immediately meeting Pluto. And on the 16th of the month, it is Venus who gets to do the same thing, meeting Pluto in the sky. So you can see there's going to be such a concentration of energy here. And that really is the key word. It is concentrated. It is truthful. It is intense. There's something real and yet it's going to lend to a moment where it feels like everything could change in an instant in a way that may not necessarily be comfortable. If there are power struggles, power games with certain people in those group dynamics, certain friendships that you don't feel the balance is there, all of that drama is going to stir right about now. Where it is that it may be hard to accept, but there's a truth moment that actually is really good for you, you're going to be able to recognize that as well. Is this healthy or not? Is it abusive or not? Is it caring or not? You'll be able to see through whatever the immediate reaction is as part of this sense of a new beginning that could happen. Now, it could be that somebody you know facilitates a really big opportunity for you, especially around the new moon. However, there might be strings there. Uh, there might be a sense that, does this person really know me at all? Like, okay, yeah, this is big, but it isn't really what I'm about or what I'm really going for. And so you're going to have to decipher whether or not those opportunities are worth taking. If they really align you with the higher hopes and wishes for your life or not, your truth is going to be uniquely your own. It's important to stay in touch with that because other people might try to convince you otherwise. Some of those arguments, if you will, some of those presentations will have merit and might be worth listening to, but others really might not be. Your truth is going to be uniquely your own. I do think some drama, some big change is likely to play out with at least one friend or group dynamic in your life. On the 24th, we have this month's full moon happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. And it is here that 
we take you from that new moon that is lofty and very mind oriented, very social. And we get to this full moon and it's like very quickly, you have to be present for your day. You have to be here, wherever here is for you in your life right now. And there are real reasons that that is likely playing out. And so we do have a supremely harmonious connection to Jupiter happening with this full moon. I love that energy for you um, with the full moon in a work-related part of the sky for you. And with Jupiter in a financial part of the sky, you can see here that new work-related opportunities or promotions or more work that might come about could also lend itself to more prosperity. However, Saturn and Mercury both are across the sky from this full moon. And those two planets are in the sign just before yours. And what that suggests is a lot is stirring within you at this time on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. Perhaps an inner restlessness as well could be stirring. There could be a sense of some need to be practical, some sense of limitation, some sense of seriousness now. And so if it is that you are being asked to take on more responsibility uh, you're being asked to be really honest with yourself. Again, I think that's a big theme this month is about getting real with yourself as to whether or not you are up for the task. Now, this part of the sky, yes, it has to do with the workplace. Clients, customers, coworkers are covered here as well. And a full moon here, especially like this, does suggest that one of these key people might be leaving at this time. Perhaps a contract is ending for you or for them at this time as well. And while there is a sense of happiness and you see that there's potential there for you, uh, there's also some mixed feelings around this sense of closure that could be taking place. Where it comes to how well you take care of yourself, that's part of what this part of the sky speaks for you as well um, with your health-related habits. And this is, on the one hand, some honest evaluation, but I think there's an element here of letting go of the bad habit, being honest with yourself about what some particular habit is doing to you or for you and where it isn't working for you anymore. You're able to make that shift now through self-honesty and also believing in healing. The healing can come really fast at this time also. Another incredibly important energy takes place on the 19th. And this is something special, something that will stand out for you for this month as an Aries. Because in your sign, we are going to have the North Node meeting Chiron. These two will get together. And as they get together, it represents the opening of a doorway from which new people, places, things, situations are able to enter, which represent karmic blessings. But because this is in your sign, it ends up being that much more likely that it is parts of you that are able to come forward that much more based on the new that is coming in. When we have important activity in your own sign, it speaks to identity and priorities and whom it is that you know yourself to be, not just what matters to you most and first, but what's most right there on the surface for you. And big energies in your sign can actually shift the way that you see yourself, as is the case now. I think this is going to be a powerful energy for you that's going to be part of redefining you as a healer, even for some of you out there. Chiron has been slowly but surely moving through your sign. You've been feeling this energy in one way or another since 2018. That is a long time. You've got a couple more years to go. I believe in 2026, 2027, that's when Chiron starts moving in and out before leaving your sign for good, a nice long transit. And this is about letting vulnerability come forward and shine. Feeling a sense of knowing about yourself. And as you know some truths about yourself and as you transcend challenges, you are changed and that much more able to see how you're able to help other people as well. The birth of the healer, well, you might have always thought of yourself that way, but it comes forward in new ways now, slowly but surely over this larger transit. But it is when Chiron meets the North Node now that represents an important peak moment. 
as part of this larger journey that you are in the middle of now. Now, where it comes to matters of love, as I mentioned, on the 16th of the month, Venus will move into a friendship part of your sky and very quickly move to meet Pluto in the sky. And this makes for perhaps the most intense love day of the year for a lot of us out there. You add to this just three days earlier, we have Mars changing signs, but then very quickly meeting Pluto as well. And Mars is your ruling planet. And so very quickly, yes, there's focus on other people in group dynamics and friendships, but there's also love that's part of it. Now, here's the thing with Pluto. Things can get really messy. So it's important to strive to stay aware um, and to make your choices consciously. But when Venus meets Pluto, it can feel as if there's this pull of fate playing out. You may see what is so messy about it, but decide to jump in anyways. That's going to be up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances. Friendship and love become intimately tied perhaps very quickly now. For those of you open to meeting someone new, especially mid-month, either with a friend or through a friend, it can feel like things really accelerate, um, become very love-oriented, also intimacy-oriented as well, perhaps very quickly. Uh, where it might have felt like there was tension, uh, that will be revealed, but also possible it might feel like it just comes out of nowhere and things accelerate quickly as well. There might be a part of you that can see where it is or isn't a good idea to go so quickly down a certain road with a particular person. And as much as I want to reiterate, it's up to you, it's up to you. Uh, with Pluto, there tends to be a feeling of fate. All I can say is chances are there's some valuable learning taking place, whether it is you're sharing what's happening in love with a friend and that's how you work through the learning or it is directly with a friend. They play a key part in helping you to understand where you are in love, what's really going on with you and what you're really going for in a higher sense. For those of you just starting to date somebody, um, is this person a genuine companion to you or not? That is really going to be the deciding factor as to whether or not this is someone to navigate forward with. But I would be remiss if I didn't say all that friendship energy, all that drama and friendship energy, it could be that a friend tells you something about this person or something happens with a friend and this person, and it could lend itself to an all or nothing kind of moment. So you are going to want to be mindful of that, especially around the middle of the month. And for those of you in an established bond, as much as I do love where it is that Venus is going, it does suggest that social events as an overall theme can bond you and your partner together. It's that meeting with Pluto uh, that happens very soon after Venus enters this part of the sky on the 16th, where things get messy. And so it's up to you to decide <laughs> what invitations are you going to accept? What will you not? But even doing that, it may feel as if a friend in some way has an opinion, um, has something to share, perhaps in some way interferes with what is playing out with you and your partner. Remember, within partnerships, there are often nuances there that other people just don't know. And it is not uncommon when it is that there's some challenge between you and your partner, you might go to a friend to understand it. And even though those challenges are only like 5% of the time, because you might only really talk about the relationship when there's something bugging you, it can give another person the, um, the impression that actually it's all troubles, it's all challenges. And so you will decide what weight to give, whatever opinion, perspective, or information finds you now. But it is going to be up to you to ascertain the weight you will give it and whether or not it's going to mean anything to your relationship going forward from here. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It is a valuable and meaningful astrological moment. I'm going to say the full moon on the 24th. Um, I know that it's opposite Saturn and Mercury, and that could bring with it some hard reality checks that you have to be honest with yourself about, especially where it comes to what's happening in the workplace, 
what's happening with people you interact with regularly, and possibly even what happens in terms of and what has been happening in terms of how well you've been taking care of you. But that full moon is trine Jupiter, which does suggest tremendous healing and good fortune on offer at this time as well. So don't be afraid of that reality check moment. Even if it feels challenging, it's going to lead to that many more blessings. Thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month would choose your membership rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.